Hello everyone, in this video I'm trying to explain about hyperparameter tuning in Earth Engine. Uh, this indeed is an uh, advanced topic and this is uh, just my uh, minimal attempt to explain uh, this concept uh, and the process here in Earth Engine. This uh, codes are uh, adapted from this batch of thoughts and uh, this is an attempt to learn. So hyperparameter tuning is, uh, let's say, the process of choosing the uh, set of optimal uh, parameters for the learning algorithms. So we want to choose the uh, certain range of values uh, that is fruitful uh, in uh, that is fruitful in resulting high accuracy. So here is an example of using this uh, hyperparameter tuning process in the random forest algorithm. So we will try to uh, briefly look uh, over the process. So here we have the signal to data set and we have different uh, feature points with uh, the level uh, as the property. And then we have this uh, SRTM digitalization data and then here we have the save file. So these are the imports. So the only steps are not that uh, uh, difficult or new. So here we have the reasons, uh, we have the boundary, we're selecting two districts of Nepal uh, and making it as geometry, adding it as the uh, layer. And here we have, uh, we have the different points uh, being converted into the feature collection. So these are the features and features are being converted into the feature collection. And here we have the visualizing parameters. Then we have the cloud masking functions working with two different bands, uh, cloud probability and snow probability, and then the clouds. So we want to have those, uh, we want to have those not uh, present in our uh, area of interest or in the uh, process of analysis. And then we have the signal to filter it. Uh, this is further followed by the median and clicked uh, with our region of interest. Then again, we have the visualizing parameters, and the, then we are visualizing this image. So these are the uh, the basic steps that we have been learning uh, since the very beginning. So from here, we start the new things. So the first one here is the normalizing of the image. And by normalizing, it means to uh, make the data in such a way that all the all the uh, features have the same range. So there are different process of normalizing, uh, and uh, here is this formula uh, being used. That is, uh, we are subtracting our data uh, value with the minimum, and then we are dividing it by the difference of maximum and minimum. So for that, we have this uh, function being created. Uh, we are selecting this uh, maze and then the band names. So first, we are reducing the region with the uh, minimum reducer. And then we follow this by the maximum reducer. So this is for the, um, for the, uh, for the bands. And then uh, we have this uh, minimum and maximum this is constant this is being prepared as the constant and then we're subtracting uh, like in the formula we're subtracting uh, our minimum value and dividing it by uh, difference between maximum and minimum and this uh, we apply to this uh, this uh, feature collection image collection sorry and uh, then we randomize the points this is the process a common process that we do and this uh, randomized uh, column will help to divide the data points into two different groups so 70% uh, will be used for training and 30% will be used for validation and here we can now uh, overlay our points to the image to get the training data so for that we here we have the uh, image collection followed by dot sample regions we have, uh, we have our training points. The properties here is the level and scale and other uh, parameters here. 
and then after we can print in the training and from that training uh, data set we can now classify uh, uh, we can use the uh, we can use the um, uh, training uh, for the classifier and this is followed by e dot classifier dot smile in the forest uh, here we have provided the uh, number of trees is 50 and we provide this dot train and this uh, uh, train um, command trains the classifier we have this uh, this prepared uh, points then we have the levels and our input properties are the band name so this is the uh, this is the uh, particular method to do this here and we can also check the process uh, such as the uh, what the classifier is doing by dot explain and there is this uh, something called variable importance so to understand which band has uh, how much uh, importance in the process of the classification and for that we are uh, for the calculating it has related importance here and then we in this process are multiplying with the hundred and dividing by the total sum so this is just to understand this process is to understand uh, which band has uh, how much role in the classification and we can print uh, this as the chart so I had already done this and you can see so this is just the chart to say how uh, which band has the uh, uh, what number of or uh, what number of uh, importance in the process and uh, after understanding the process of the importance of the bands uh, here is the process of this uh, thing the main topic uh, called the hyperparameter tuning so I will be trying to explain this this is the uh, main thing to understand in this video so here we have the test uh, variable so from that image collection we are again um, providing the samples we have our validation points we have our um, property and then we want to test that uh, is that uh, with the different number of trees so here we start with 10 number of trees to 150 uh, with each gap of 10 and then we create here the function to map in that number of trees so here we are using the random forest each time the number of trees will be used and this dot train will use that training uh, and then after we have the property level we are using the band names and we return the uh, test here being classified by the classifier and then we also have the matrix being created for level and the classification and we will have the accuracy all these things uh, will be stored or and been returned and then we can also chart the um, array values by ui dot chart dot uh, array dot values and here we are using the accuracies uh, and it results something like this and we will explain this later uh, a little later and then we can print the chart and there is also the process uh, not only by using the only one parameter that is the number of trees but we know that uh, uh, random forest uses multiple parameters uh, such as here is an example we are also using this uh, back fraction um, and this is the term uh, that we need to understand to understand the uh, random forest so each time we are using this uh, number trees and the back fraction uh, and again we are training the uh, we are training this uh, features here and then we applied that uh, classifier to the test here 
and we can get this as the feature collection and then we export the uh, result as CSV so let understand let's understand the uh, this this output here so however in this case this has not been a uh, in a very nice way you can see that uh, the as the uh, as the number of trees increases the validation accuracy is still constant so this is uh, the flaw in this uh, whole code however if you see uh, the original codes I had also tried the original code here you can see however in the codes from the special cards uh, this uh, number of trees that is 10 number of trees has resulted the highest validation accuracy you can uh, please run the codes again and try to check I, I did this but in my case uh, I had uh, zero accuracy so there are certain flaws uh, and or, or many flaws uh, in, in my in, in the codes that I've used uh, the, the first reason might be that um, the training samples uh, sorry the training points that I've used uh, is not sufficient or you know maybe that minimum or um, or the other case might be that I haven't used and that much of the uh, indices only the band 1 to band 9 uh, and the um, other things I haven't used that much uh, but this is the uh, way to understand that there is the process and there is this method to understand uh, which number of trees uh, is useful uh, for the process and we can also test with the number of uh, bags or something here uh, something that is used in the random forest so please uh, run the course and try to understand more uh, and and any comments are welcomed so i hope this was helpful for you uh, i just tried my best uh, let's say best to explain this so thank you for watching